The Ebola outbreak in West Africa continues to fuel concerns across the globe. Today, a second American aid worker infected with Ebola arrived on U.S. soil for treatment. 59-year-old Nancy Reitball was wheeled into an Atlanta hospital on a stretcher, unlike her co-worker, Dr. Kent Brantley, who was able to walk when he returned from Liberia. The disease has affected more than 1,600 people in four African nations, killing nearly 900, and there's no proven cure. We caught up with a URI expert today to find out if we should be concerned about the spread of Ebola. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with local coverage. Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control, it has never been detected here in the United States. But the question is, could it happen? And more importantly, just how safe are we? As the scene played out live on national TV of the second aid worker infected with Ebola arriving in the United States, everyone's concerns heightened and for good reason. There's no cure for Ebola. The principal symptoms are fever, which sometimes leads to hemorrhage and hemorrhage meaning bleeding out of your ears and your eyes and it's, it's a horrible disease. But the likelihood of you actually getting this disease unlikely. If you're in West Africa, in those countries where Ebola is, you're at risk. But if you've flown through, if you've met somebody from there, you're extremely low risk, probably zero. According to the Centers for Disease Control, Ebola only spreads through direct contact with the blood or fluids of an infected person. It can spread through contaminated needles, but no airborne transmission has ever been documented. There's no need to worry about this virus, but here in the United States, here in Rhode Island, no one is at any risk. Now we have a lot more information for you regarding Ebola. It is all on our website right now, specifically how it spreads and also about treatments. Again, you can go to WPRI.com right now for that information. Live in the newsroom, Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.